Hi Scorpio, this is Crystal Rose. I'm a comfy soul. Welcome to the channel. I'm going to give you a reading. We're going to start with Angel Therapy by Doreen Virtue and uh, whatever else I feel like pulling off my handy dandy cart when the time comes. Until then, let's get started. <laughs> In my head that was like, let's get ready to rumble. Okay, we're done with that. <laughs> we're not going to go there anymore. All right. What do we have for Scorpio? Okay, so I see you doing some work. Now, the interesting thing is I don't see you like working, working. I don't see you like hands-on working. I actually see you like thinking working, manifesting magic healing working. Like <laughs> it's all feeling. It's all a feeling kind of thing. So you might be doing some work. I mean, it's the first thing that shows up and maybe you've already gotten started and that was the hands-on portion, right? But I see something manifesting that's already taking place. Now, the thing that's different about you is that it's coming through your intuition. So maybe you know something is working for you or something is coming together or something is healing because I see crown chakra energy and the Archangel Raphael healing energy. So something is being healed and it has to do with your sensitivity, the energy you pick up, um, your indigo state, how you feel other people's energies around you and your willingness to forgive. So if you've been hurt and people didn't honor your sensitivity, something is working in your favor and things are coming together. Just want you to know that. Okay, so while you're working on this forgiveness, there is something that you know is coming. And I know you know because I see your clairvoyance kicking in and I see you well grounded in this fairy energy. So there's something about you that's chilling, hanging out, um, feeling really secure, tuned in, listening to... Uh, you know, God and the angels and getting your signs and synchronicities and all that yummy good stuff. And you are manifesting something by being a person of integrity, by being someone who is the same person behind closed doors as you are out in public in front of other people. This is you being whole and showing up as a whole person who it doesn't sway or change your behavior or turn into somebody else or something different because somebody else is asking you to do that. Do you understand? This is you shining legitimately. You have authenticity to share. This is you writing a book, sharing your information, being the most spiritual you can possibly be and really stepping into this is your work. Really being an, an authentically spiritual person and showing up. Okay, so let me just say, some of you aren't thinking of a career change or a business as a spiritual endeavor, but anytime that you are acting in your integrity, in your authenticity, and showing up as a real human being, doing some kind of caring endeavor for the planet, whether that's teaching, um, you know, lessons you've learned or you're in an education system and you're changing the education system or uh, you're just going to teach other people or new people how to have fun and enjoy their lives and be a great person. That is something to teach that not everybody knows how to do that is of value. Okay. You definitely need to show up. You need to be seen. We need to hear your voice. Okay. Cancer clear delete. Any limiting beliefs you have, any negative thoughts, any small thinking around what's possible, how much you can have, how much you deserve, throw it out the window. Whatever these lackful thoughts are that tell you you're not enough, you don't have enough, you need to be safe, you need to hoard money, you need to, um, you need to save, save, save because you know you'll never get this or never get that. That's all bullshit. The universe will always create more. There's always more to give. There's always more to have. There's always more. So don't limit yourself and think small, okay? Keep your thoughts positive and forward-focused and leave any negative thoughts out of your brain. No one has time for that, especially you, okay? <laughs> yes, this is your pattern that needs to be healed. 
the idea that if you're not in control or uh, that if someone doesn't keep giving you more or more is an insight, you can't already see it on the way that there won't be enough. You just need to woosah, ground down, eat right, high vibe, organic fruits and veggies, and stop with the negative thinking. Law of attraction and... Um, how can I say this? Not going into repetitive patterns of lack. Don't go into losing yourself to fit into an idea, a story, or with somebody else. Don't tell yourself that something's never going to happen. That's never true unless you say it's true. Um, and really honor your energy. High vibe, organic fruits and veggies. Do right by your body. Treat yourself well. There's always more. There's always more. Yes, release that pattern, that hoarding pattern, that pattern that you have to control things or things will go wrong or there's not enough or just you don't need to sit in that space. Okay, they're telling me to switch gears here. So what do you want me to do, Spirit? Psychic Tarot by John Holland. Let me see what's coming towards you if you get out of scarcity thinking. So first of all, more hope. That just flew out. You will actually think and believe that good things are happening and coming your way. Imagine literally anything coming to you that works for you, that makes you cheerful and happy. And that automatically provides some level of hope, some thought that is pleasant to listen to and look at. Um, that's how you make shit happen. That's how you manifest, by calling it into you through your magical little genie mind that's like, yeah, I want that. I'm going to have that. That feels good to me. Put it in your heart. Smile about it. Release it and let it go and watch it show up. Just watch it show up by you being a real person. When you're fake or when you pretend or when you stay small and quiet, that's when things don't come to you because you're hiding behind a wall of fear. Do you understand? Okay, what else? What else? What else? What else? For Scorpio. Ta! There's nothing holding you back and nothing that is being kept away from you. Literally, the whole universe is conspiring in your favor, legitimately, and you know it. Crown chakra. So, why do you ever you tell yourself otherwise? Are you taking on other people's energies? Do you need to let go of some other some other person's bullshit? Because all I see is you being happy and your wishes getting fulfilled. Literally everything that you want is there. Everything. So stop listening to negativity. Don't make it yours. Yes, and you will always succeed. You are always triumphant. So whatever that story is in the back of your mind that pops up that it won't be incredible and 100% awesome, tell that voice to shut up. <laughs> Especially if that's somebody else's. Okay? Yes. Yes. You're seen, you're recognized, you're rewarded, and you always get paid what you deserve and then some if you believe it. 100%. I'm going to grab you one card from Oracle of the Seven Energies for some advice. And then I'm going to leave it alone because I think you know where you need to go with this, okay? Let's see here. Into me, I see. How gorgeous is this? And notice that it is the root chakra energy. Eight is abundance. And this color here is red, which is your root chakra, which is your stability, your security, your sense of home and financial and material. Into me, I see. There is nothing outside of you that you need to see, grab, hope for, pull in, wish. You're taken care of. You're in a good, stable home. You have finances taken care of. Your bills are paid. Things are fine. Don't buy into any other idea that, oh, wait for it. Something's going to go bad. Something's going to be crappy. Something, you know, don't. Don't do that. Be super chill. Enjoy the space you're in. Be in freaking gratitude. And look inside yourself for that joy and that happiness and that gratitude and perpetuate more of that. Make that cycle happen. Make that be the habit and the addiction to always expect more to come in to bring you joy and happiness. This is fun. This is a fun life for you. One more advice. Yes, the power of purpose. So if you feel like you don't know what you're doing, do something purposeful and passionate. Go teach. 
go help somebody, go serve a volunteer, just do something that is aligning with you being a real person who actually loves the freaking planet. That's all. Find a purpose, find a career path that you enjoy. Do something that makes you feel valuable and worthy. Because when you're sitting around doing nothing, that's when you're more concerned about other people's thoughts and feelings instead of your own. And you should only be concerned with showing up and teaching whatever it is that you have to teach and making money doing it with ease because people appreciate you. That's all. I'm actually going to leave it there. If you'd like a personal reading, you can find me at ComfySoul.com. Maybe you want to know what your true purpose is. Come get a reading. Let's talk about what you're going to do with your time and energy when you're not worried about other people's bullshit. <laughs> All right? Um, you can book down below, ComfySoul.com. That way you don't run into scammers and spammers. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate your comments, likes, shares, and subscribes. Thank you for being here. And I'll see you guys next time. Okay? Bye.